The following match is sponsored by Secrete Dessert and Wine Bar. On the left, we have Zach Warwick Bire, 17 years of age, under 71 kilos, fighting out of Phoenix Training Center. Anna Wayne Ardley. Opposite him, we have Muhammad Bekai, 16 years of age, under 71 kilos from G Force BJJ, under coach and father, Jihad Bekai. Ladies and gentlemen, our third bout of the evening. This is an under 71 kilo Nogi BJJ match, sponsored by Sucre Dessert and Wine Bar. Introducing first, in the blue corner, at 17 years of age, fighting out of Phoenix Training Center under coach Wayne Ardley, weighing in at 67.6 kilos. Please welcome Zach Warwick Biahe. Here we are changing things up a little bit. Now we're going to Nogi BJJ in the blue corner. 17 years of age, fighting out of Phoenix Training Center. Under coach Wayne Ardley, he weighed in at 67.6 kilos. We have Zach Warwick Biahi. Now making his way from Phoenix Training Center, he's excited to jump into the cage. I spoke to him a little bit before. He said he wasn't too nervous. He's just excited to get in there and put on a show for the fans and a show for the audience here tonight. At 16 years old, fighting out of G-Force BJJ under coaches Jihad Bakai and Ninos Demo, weighing in at 71 kilos even. Please welcome Muhammad Hancho Bakai. Introducing 16 years of age at a G-Force BJJ under Jihad Bakai and Inos Demo at 71 kilograms. Muhammad Hanshaw Bakai. Let me tell you, Muhammad, this is, I think it's his fifth, maybe his fourth, fifth appearance here on Fusion Fighting Championship. I've seen this guy fighting amateur MMA. I see this kid competing all over the place. No matter where I go to coach, my guys, I see him. There's always patting me on the back, on the shoulder. Hey, Frankie, how's it going? This kid is one of the most active teenagers on the circuit right now, and his entrances are always spectacular, and there is another spectacular entrance. Please welcome back again, the very spectacular and dangerous, red out of the red corner, Mohamed Hancho Bakar. Be fantastic. Both boys are super excited for this one. I mean, I know Zach Beery speaking to him yesterday at the Wayne's. He was super pumped for this. Look at that. Most straight away falling into a double, into a guillotine. Now they're going to bring that teenage energy. We have a 17 year old against a 16 year old. They are not going to slow down. Oh, Muhammad tries to get out of it. This is a very tight guillotine. Oh, this is very tight. I'd like to see Muhammad get off his knees and stack him and drive his shoulder into him as much as possible to add pressure into the abdomen of the aggressor. He might get out of his rolling. This is a bad sign. Oh, this is super tight. Half guard, butterfly, Chris Trio. Now, look, that guillotine was tight, but he did let go with one hand and he tried to rely on one hand. Now he's sort of on the wrong side to finish it. Muhammad is doing 
everything right to get out of it, and he did. Absolutely, absolutely. Awesome job by Mohamed Vakay to survive that one. Those early clinches are really dangerous. They really are. Both boys very dry, very excited, very strong, all their power. Those chokes are devastating, no matter how old you are. Devastating chokes. But right now, Mohamed Vakay doing a great job. Trying to, is he, in, is he past yet? I can't see. Yes, he's inside control. Looking at going to the mount, causing the scramble. He'll look for the neck for sure. Now, Bakay has just secured three points for that pass. Mohamed has a very tight top side control position here. And Mirish doing all the right things to do. Now, that leg, the way he has laced that leg up is going to make it so hard to turtle or turn into him. It's a great pinning position. Yeah, that leg drag position is just so powerful. And if it gets a bit crazy, you just pass again and just go back to side control. Now you're seeing him progress to the mount, knee on stomach. Scores the three, arm. scores an E right point. He's going to spin. There he goes. Muhammad's so dangerous. He's always looking for the armbar, looking for the neck. Here is a dash. Oh, has he got that? Oh, I think, oh, he's trying to get on the bicep. Yes, he's got the grip. He needs the lead. He's got the leg entangled. He's got everything he needs to finish. All he has to do is he's got to be patient and squeeze this one out. You know, Beery is doing all the right things to try to defend. He's trying not to let, actually, the arm coming through like that might not be the best. And going belly down was the right thing to do. Recovers back into what looks like a half butterfly. No, looking for that. Yep, half butterfly, almost close guard. Chasing that guillotine again. Yeah, Zach prefers that. He's always putting that butterfly in. If he doesn't like it, he'll probably stand up again. We saw that early in the fight. If it's not feeling quite good, he'll just create a scramble and get back to his feet. Now, Muhammad's doing all the right things, keeping him pinned, more keeping more. those pins, uh, keeping the hips locked. Full guard. All right, let's see what kind of guard Zach Berry has off his back. He's posting on that hip. Just to, I call that the anti-stacking device. If your leg curl, you stop them from backing out. If you post on the hip, you stop them from stacking forwards. It's a great control. So good signs are early for Zach Berry showing some... You know, ex experience playing full guard. Muhammad's got to be really careful. He's going to try and stand up. That's the best defense, Chris. Yeah, standing up from close guard is the right thing to do. It looks like he's trying to maybe do the log splitter as well. But with Whoa. only four minutes remaining and it's 10 to zero, Warwick's going to have to make something happen. Yeah, for sure. But look, you know, um, props to him. He's down on Oh, he's that straight ankle lock. This is a dangerous spot. Spins out of it. Nice defense. Now we're going to see some explosiveness, I believe, from Mohamed Bakai. is going to start jumping on things left, right, and center. Oh, for sure, for sure. Flying triangle straight in. He might even have it. There he goes. He's got it cleared. This is a wrap. He might be able to finish from here. He's just got to grab his head. There it is. And lace it up. This, this could be over. I but mean, oh, but oh, stop. What a finish. Diving triangle. He jumped straight over that guard, locked that triangle in, and secured his victory. That's a beautiful submission. And how, how electrifying is Muhammad, I told you, you can't blink. This kid's a is a submission machine. So one of the most exciting prospects, up and coming rising stars on the current scene. Look at this replay. There's the shot. Unfortunately, he got caught in this little guillotine. He had to sort it out. But once he started sorting it out, he was able to just pretty much just at will go from position to position and just try and expose Zach as much as he could. Look for the armbar there, mounted in Neon Valley, back into the butterflies. And then when he was up 10 points, you could see him open up. He stood up, gave him a bit of space, and then hit this beautiful flying triangle right on cue. And that was a wrap. Grabbed the head, cinched it up, and that's all she wrote. Muhammad Bakay again, showing why Hunshaw is on fire right now, and rightly so. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight has come to an end by submission by way of triangle choke for your winner, Red Corner, Muhammad Hunshaw Congratulations, Mohamed Honcho Bekai on a phenomenal, potentially submission of the night finish. Oh, for sure. I mean, how exciting was that? I mean, he just, and even with the cage, only about a foot and a half behind his opponent's head, he said, oh, I might, I might only have a small gap. And he just went, oh, I don't care. Look at that. He's so explosive and athletic. It's just 